Hey everybody, Dr. Scott and Dr. Brittany here again. We're coming at you with the fourth video of the series. Um, this one is going from tabletop into what we call a bear position. Okay, so ending in the tabletop from the last video. Main things, brace the core, nice and tight, straight spine. She's gonna breathe through her belly, so I should feel those tight muscles, but also expanding as she inhales and relaxing as she exhales, inhales, expansion through her belly. She wants to press into the floor slightly with her hands to raise this part of her spine just slightly, and then making sure her head and her neck are in a nice neutral tucked position. Don't let it slouch toward the floor, right, like that, and don't extend the neck looking up in front of you. So good start position, good breathing to start. Then she's gonna curl her toes underneath of her just so she has a good grasp on the floor. She's going to act or pretend that someone's taking her front, uh, the front of her pelvis or her hips and lifting up towards the ceiling. This is what's called, this is what's called mini bear. So the mini bear position. Her knees are only a couple inches off of the floor. Okay, she's gonna hold that position, trying to breathe and maintain active through here. You're gonna start off with being able to do this for maybe five seconds, 10 seconds. We want you to work up to being able to do about a minute of that. That's gonna take some time and some practice, but that's gonna be really, really good for your core, okay? After she's uh, taking a short break for her shoulder, she's gonna come back into the tabletop position, recheck all the same things, braced core, straight spine, push into the floor a little bit, good head and neck position. Now we're gonna go into what's called full bear position. She's gonna curl her toes again. And on this one, the only difference is, act like someone is lifting up, but also back a little bit. So go ahead and show them that motion, up and back. So you see how the weight in her shoulders transfers a little bit. Her pelvis is higher than her shoulders, and that's kind of the key to this one. It's really gonna challenge the shoulder, the core, and the pelvis and hips all at the same time. Keeping braced, breathing through her belly on this one. We can hold this, again, working our way up to being able to hold it for a minute, which is gonna take some time, so don't get frustrated, but we also can do repetitions of this. So go ahead and slowly go back down, rocking herself forward. Okay, you can take a short break or you can just stay active and then lift right back up into that full bear position right there. Hold for a breath or two is what I like to do and then slowly go back down to the start position. If you're doing the repetitions, again, working your way up to 20 repetitions is always an awesome, awesome thing. Start out with as many as you can do and just build over time. All right, guys, practice these and um, we're confident these are really gonna help you have better spine stabilization.